Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to go and show you how to stream your Xbox Series X or S to your PC. So let's go ahead and jump into the video right now. So make sure your computer is turned on and connected to the internet. And the same thing with your Xbox. So when both devices are turned on, let's go over to our computer. Now go to the Microsoft Store and then search for the Xbox app on top. This should already be on your computer, but if it's not, go to the Microsoft Store, install this, and open it up. And then here is the Xbox application. Now, on the top left, there will be a console symbol. If we go ahead and select this, we will be able to see the available turn on and connect it to the same internet Xbox. So I'm using my Xbox One, but it will also connect your Series X and S. So all I have to do from here is select this with my mouse and it's gonna go ahead and load this screen. Now it's gonna say on your Xbox, enable remote play, it just switch over to it and press X on that. Now your controller can be connected to your PC or your Xbox during this time. And here is my Xbox. So with your mouse, you can go to the upper left and click on this little settings area and go to this and you can mute your microphone, provide feedback, toggle full screen, or you can disconnect from the remote play application. Then you can press the Xbox guide button here to open that up or close it. Now this is streaming automatically. It's going to be like 1080p or 720p and it's going to determine what the resolution and the frames per second is. So you won't be able to toggle that by yourself. Now at some point in time, you will be able to have like 4K, I believe, on your Xbox Series X or S. So I notice when you're playing, sometimes if you don't have a very good internet connection, it can be kind of a little bit laggy and it won't be extremely responsive. But if you are using a LAN connection where your Xbox is directly connected to your router, this will provide you the best playing experience. Or if you're connected via the 5G connection to your router, so your experience can vary quite a bit depending on your internet connection. But I notice like if you do have a good connection, your input lag is quite low and it's actually playable in most single player games. Now multiplayer can be a little bit tricky. If you are playing competitive, expect a little bit of input lag, but I don't think it would stop you from being able to play at all. Now you can see I'm connected via a 5G connection. And every so often I do have like a line that kind of like scrolls down my screen and it's not the best looking game. Like it's only 720p. I believe it's 60 frames per second. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did go and leave it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.